Hi everybody and welcome to the vlog. So obviously, as y'all can tell, I am vlogging today. Hopefully I keep up with this vlogging thing because I really do want to start doing it just for a little bit more of a lifestyle type of content on my channel, you know what I mean? But it's pretty late in the day right now. It is Friday. I started this vlog off hella late. It's around 8 o'clock right now and I'm about to get ready to go out and have some drinks. I'm looking hella ratchet. Um... But this is literally how I look like every single day. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited because, you know, we never really go out that much. But I decided that I wanted to vlog because I just felt like it. So, I'm about to do my hair. I have all of my products on my son's dresser right now. But I'm in my beauty room. I literally just moved it around, like, today, a few hours ago. Just because I felt like my beauty room would be better right here in my son's room would be better in my beauty room space that I had before so yeah I'll give y'all like a little tour and everything of my house in probably like tomorrow maybe the next day I don't know yet it just depends um so yeah let's go ahead and do the hair I was thinking about doing like a high pony with my short hair of course <laughs> I wish I had one of those clip-in um ponytails but I don't I really do want to get one but I don't know if I want to spend the money for it. So yeah, I was thinking about doing a high pony with a, um, just like a wavy ponytail. You know what I mean? Like wave it if you, you feel me, right? You know what I mean? So yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. Just go ahead and prop up my camera real quick. So literally how I want to do my hair, like I just said, I want to do it in like a high pony. And y'all don't hate on my little t-shirt here okay because this is literally what I wear every single time I'm about to do my hair or my makeup or anything just because I like to feel comfortable and I don't want to get my clothes dirty whatsoever so first I'm gonna heat up my um, waiver um, I got this from bedhead what is this TG Taiji Diggy a wave we go and I just have like the little two barrel one so, yeah, I, just, I think I got this from Walmart, to be honest. I don't even remember where I got it. But it adjusts. Um, and I'm going to put it on, like, the like the second setting on it. Just because I want my hair to be, like, extra wavy, if you know what I mean. And my hair is, it's, it's kind of wet, to be honest. Um, I washed my hair this morning, but I put it up in a bun. You know, whenever you put it up in a bun, it never... It never dries fully so we're just gonna still work with it so first thing I'm going to do because this is gonna be like a super easy easy hairstyle is I honestly <laughs> I like to throw my hair down like this and just brush it through Okay, so that is as high as I can get it. And honestly, I don't really think I want it any higher than that. I just wet my hair and I slick it back. Next, got to be glued. This is my favorite gel of all time. And I take the smallest amount because this stuff makes your head rock hard. <laughs> And I always lay like my little baby hairs and all that just because I like the way that it frames my face. But I don't do that right now because we're not done quite yet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little piece of hair from like the back of my ponytail. And what I like to do is just go around, pick it up, go around up go around take your bobby pin and just put it in there like so boom she's cute she's really cute i seriously love when i see a girl with like a high pony and her hair like a high pony hairstyle you know what i mean and like a long straight or curly ponytail <laughs> And I just think it looks so freaking cute. Seriously, it just looks so cute.
Okay, so now, because I really didn't feel like doing this in the beginning, is I'm literally just going to crimp my hair like one piece at a time. And I'm more than likely just going, oh damn, what the hell? And I'm more than likely just going to um, speed this part up, you guys, because this is going to take hella long. like most likely not gonna stay um just because my hair is already like really wavy so what i'm just gonna do is i'm gonna spray some of this tresemme to spray extra hold i don't know you know when it comes to the hair care i don't know to be honest um i'm just gonna spray like a little bit in there just so it kind of like holds the style and I kind of teased it just a little bit, but I, I hate whenever my um, hair is like really frizzy. So hopefully that tames it because it's hella humid outside right now since um, it rained earlier and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just do my makeup. So I'm going to go ahead and just do my makeup real quick and I'm going to set y'all up for that. And I'm just going to speed through it really quick just because I want to hurry up and get done because we do have to go out of town to drop off our son at my sister-in-law's house. He's going to spend night tonight while we go out. And I got to lay my little baby here because I don't like it whenever my face just looks super eggish. Like I got an egg-shaped head. So I need to do a little something on the sides just so it don't look really blank or anything um and then hopefully my hair kind of puffs up in the back a little bit because i like it whenever it puffs up like that you know what i mean isn't that that's a vibe to me i'm just saying but yeah um let me lay my baby hairs real quick and then i'll prop y'all up so then y'all can see me just do my makeup real quick and i'll show you all my outfit after i have this little outfit in mind that i want to do um, it's just something super simple, super casual, but still really, like, sexy. You know what I mean? And I'll show you that after. So, yeah. I'll be on the way. I'll be on the way. You can give me a five. I'll be on the way. I'll be on the way. Put it in five. I'll be on top. 
how to put a new card in my camera but anyways this is how the makeup turned out turned out really cute i love the hair it's a little frizzy but you know what? it's okay um honestly my makeup came out really really cute also i did my nails these are press-ons by the way if y'all are wondering um i just got them from walmart so i'll show you guys real quick there are these right here the modern french neon nail set i think i paid like nine dollars for them so that's really really good if you're on like you're on the go and you need your nails done but your nail tech ain't available i always get press-on nail sets um from walmart or cvs or whatever just because i don't know anybody in my town that does good good nails the way that i really want them done you know what i mean so yeah let me go ahead and show you guys the outfit like i said it's just something super casual since we're just gonna go to a bar to have a few drinks so honestly it's too open right here for me but um i'm gonna button it up just because like i feel more secure when it's buttoned um i have on this shirt right here i believe it's from misguided it's just the white crinket shirt. Yeah. Anyways, it's the white crinket shirt. Um, I actually filmed with this shirt. Um, let me see. I filmed a haul from Misguided in Pretty Little Thing. Um, I'll link it down below if you guys want to watch it. It's just a few videos back. Um, but yeah, it is pretty see-through, so that's why I have the bra on. And the bra, it's actually my sister's. I don't know where she got it from. Honestly, I think she got it from maybe Forever 21 or something, but it's just this blue lace bra. It is see-through, but luckily it kind of blends with with the color of my nipples. Okay. Um, and then I got these earrings from H&M. I got these so long ago. They came in a set and I only have these left. I know. And then um, I have on my Nasty Gal shorts. Yeah, I just have on some regular blue jean shorts here we go and then i am more than likely just going to wear some air forces just because my toes are not done and i don't feel like wearing chocolates because my chocolates or my sandals i'm sorry my sandals are broken and the only ones that i have won't go with this outfit okay so yeah um i'm gonna go ahead and just jump off of here and I don't know if I'll see you guys later or not. I think I might just take a little bit of videos at the bar on, obviously, on my IG stories. Which, if you aren't, go ahead and follow me. So you can see my, you know, what I do off of the camera. Um, just because I don't want to take this in there because it's just weird. And, yeah. What's up everybody it is now four days later so it is currently tuesday it's around it's around 10 in the morning probably um so the last time y'all see me was when i had um gotten ready on friday and like went out and whatnot um yeah that was like the last time hold on i'm trying to adjust my camera just so i'm not don't have to like hold this tripod if y'all don't know what i mean like i hate holding the tripod it's just a hassle having to hold a tripod but anyways last time y'all seen me was friday i had just went out and everything i got ready y'all see me do my hair my makeup and all that um i went out it was a local bar it was actually me and my boyfriend my brother was there my sister-in-law and her friend were there and my best friend was there also um we had a good time and everything i thought it was really fun you know what I mean? Like, I don't really ever get out or anything, so it was pretty fun. Um, Y'all seen how I dressed? It was super casual and everything. Everything was good right until, like, we were leaving. So, we were leaving and everything, and um, my boyfriend and my brother and everybody was saying that um, some guys were, like, staring at me. To be honest, I wasn't really realizing it because, you know... Without my glasses, y'all, I can't see if you're looking at me or if you're not. And to be honest, I'm not paying no attention to you unless you come up to me and talk to me. You know what I mean? 
um but most of the time i won't talk to anybody I'm, i just stay like within my little circle but yeah i i could tell that they were looking at me or like wanting to give me attention or wanting me to give them attention and you know i'm not gonna give you no attention like i'm there let me zoom y'all in like i feel like i'm far i'm there with my boyfriend i'm there with my friends my family and all that so like whenever we were leaving and stuff when i was leaving when i was walking out one of the guys had actually grabbed me by the arm and he can clearly like he was there the whole night but like he could clearly tell that i was with my boyfriend you know what i mean like i was hooked up on him talking with him and all that type of stuff so for him to like sit there and grab me by the arm and ask me my name and like ask me for my phone number like dude that's like disrespectful in a way you know what i mean like you see me there with my with my boyfriend with my man and then like you're asking me for my number and you're grabbing me like no no that's not the way you give anybody attention or anything like <laughs> i don't care if you know this woman is fine like you do not do that at all like to any person whatsoever you know what i mean like if you think that it's okay for you to put your hand on somebody you don't know that's just a big no-no okay don't do that so if you're a guy watching this video do not do that that's not the way you get any girl's attention whatsoever um and also if you see her there with somebody dude like why are you and she's obviously hooked up with somebody then why are you even like messing with her for you get me so yeah up until then everything was fine i'm pretty sure y'all seen some of the little clips and all that the last clip that i showed was of the little bar everyone was already leaving it was like 1 44 in the morning because i had just sent that to like my email or whatever so then i could add it to the video um so it was 1 in the morning that last clip that y'all seen so i have like a stain right there from the last time i wore this sweater it's actually hot outside today yesterday it wasn't it was cold um i was actually vlogging yesterday and i don't really know like i didn't end up doing anything whatsoever i was supposed to go grocery shopping didn't do that i went to go wash clothes none of the clothes ended up being done or anything so i was gonna like fold them and everything but i'm at home right now it's not really that early i woke up at like seven so i have a few things to do i i still gotta go and um get my clothes for my grandma's that's where i wash them out i wash them at my grandma's and they should be dry by now um uh, my room's hella dirty gotta gotta clean that i just made myself coffee my dishes aren't clean my little sister was supposed to do dishes last night if y'all didn't know my little sister lives with me so it was her turn which i did not tell her so i'm drinking my coffee out of this big ass cup and yeah i'm gonna go get groceries here in a little bit but i'm kind of thinking should i show y'all my beauty room or should i not show y'all which i feel like i want to show y'all and then i'll take y'all with me to go grocery shopping because today i do have to edit this vlog so this vlog that y'all are watching right now i'm going to be editing this vlog today and posting it later on today so hopefully that works out because my upload days are on wednesdays and sundays and i'm trying to stick to that schedule just so i can be consistent and then yeah so i think i'm just going to go ahead and show y'all my beauty room real quick okay so as y'all can tell i have a super simple setup um i don't really have like a very big setup or anything everything in this room is actually very inexpensive like i literally didn't really pay that much money whatsoever but i did collect all of this stuff throughout the year so it took me like maybe three four years to collect this stuff but all the stuff that i'm about to show y'all is mainly very inexpensive except for my camera my camera and obviously the laptop is expensive what is that <clears throat> so yeah i'm sorry if i look really dark right now i don't know what the hell like it's just dark um so what i'm gonna show y'all because i don't really want to hold my camera and like show y'all like that like i'd rather be in front of the camera and show y'all is everything that i have right now for my background so a lot of y'all probably think that you know, you have to have an expensive background or get something from Ikea or get something from like CB2 or Crate and Barrel or whatever for your background like the bigger influencers do. And I'm not really that type of person. Like I just want something super simple and very inexpensive for my background. And I'm not really the one to like do the backdrops or anything. If you're into the backdrops, then 
I'll link down below. Hopefully I can find it. The one that I have the backdrop holder and all that type of stuff that I purchased, but I don't like using the backdrops just because it's just too much of a hassle to put up and take down because I don't want it to get ruined or anything. So I just use this. Now my coffee and my big ass cup. Don't say nothing. For my background, I actually have this um, little shelf right here that I got from Walmart for like $70. I've had this for the longest time. I actually had little cubbies and everything that go in it. And I have my clothes in here, so I used this as a dresser for a very, very long time until I actually bought a dresser a few years ago. Um, so yeah, I used this as my entertainment center and my dresser. And I got this a long time ago, but I really do like the fact that it's like a more of a natural wood finish to it even though it's not real wood obviously um so i have this and it actually holds my makeup that i have or that i'm using currently so i do not have any of my newer or not my newer but like my old makeup in here i store it like somewhere else in the house just because i don't really like the clutter like i said so i have my makeup down here which i'll show you guys in a little bit more of a close-up but first i'm going to talk about all this that's up here um so on the sides for my background, I actually have these two bases right here. These two bases I got from Walmart, I believe they're like 10 something per vase, which isn't bad, but I feel like if you have, or if you go to like a thrift store, you can find vases pretty cheap and then you can spray paint them yourself. Just make sure you get like the spray paint that's a little textured. But I actually got these from Walmart. They were in the, like right next to the curtains and everything aisle. And then I got this pompous grass but it's not really pompous grass like y'all know what pompous grass looks like i got this um leaves <laughs> i don't know what to call it from walmart also and it has these cute little baby pompous grass detail flowers in here too um i got this from the arts and crafts section and i believe for the whole pack it was like around three or four dollars which isn't bad so i should have got two just so they could be way more fuller in my background but I really do want to purchase some actual pompous grass or I want to go into someone's yard and ask them if I can cut some of theirs down because a lot of people have that type of stuff here where I live. So I actually have two of those on each side um, just because I'm, if it's not equal, then I just, I need to have it like even on both sides if that makes sense but i really do want to invest in like some of those really nice pretty decor books off of amazon but they're like really expensive and i don't know if i want to do that right now so i had to zoom y'all in just a little bit but now in the middle right here i have this little piece of decoration that i actually made which i was vlogging the other day like last week and i had this beautiful huge mirror that the previous tenants um left here at this house that I'm in right now because we're renting this house we do not own this house by the way um they had left a huge mirror and I was like oh my god I'm gonna bring that inside and I'm going to like DIY foam the edges like how you see on Instagram and everything and I'm gonna have it as my um beauty room mirror so like if I want to ever do try on hauls or anything like that or just come in here and take a picture of myself um I have the mirror which was a like a huge fail because I ended up trying to lay it down on my own, which I should have just waited for my boyfriend. Like he said, he's told me to wait, but I did not want to wait. And when I put it down on the ground, it literally broke in half and it cut me right here. Luckily, it just cut me like just right here, like a little poke. And it wasn't like a huge cut or anything. But I got so pissed that I broke that mirror because it was so, so, so big and so pretty. And if I would have just waited, I would literally have that vlog uploaded like last week but it, it didn't work out so um i ended up having some of the foam left and i diy'd this canvas that i had for a very long time and um you could make a whole bunch of these or whatever i should have just sprayed the outer part or whatever and just left the inner part but i sprayed the whole thing and um i actually have this in my background and i don't know if i want to hang this like later on in the future or not but i actually just have it like right there and I really do want to get some candles and stuff in here. I did have a candle, but I already used it all. So, yeah. So, right here in the middle, I have my mirror from, from Home Goods that I got like a year ago. It was really inexpensive. I think it was like $20 or $25, which isn't bad at all. And it has this like natural wood detailing. So, if y'all can tell, like all my stuff right here in the background is just like natural wood type vibe. 
and I really do like that. And um, I just have it right there in the background just because I feel like it just looks best right there. So right here underneath my little background setup, I have my makeup. This is all of the newer makeup that I own right here. Okay, so this is all the newer makeup that I own right here. Um, all of this stuff is just, I literally have to organize it. I'm so sorry that it's not organized right now. I'll probably like, what the hell is that? But I got this little makeup thing from Home Goods for like $13. And it really, or maybe even $20. I don't, I don't, I honestly don't remember. Um, I know you can find them on Amazon though too, or the container store, but I don't go there because that's bougie. Okay. Um, and I just have all of my go to products in here like all of my go-to so i do not keep any of my old makeup in here i just have a whole bunch of my go-to products patrick ta cover effects benefit and all that type of stuff my nara stuff fenty all my stuff in is in there and then this right here because most of my stuff is in the bottom one is for like eyes so i have like my go-to eyeshadow palettes which is only this one for right now because like I said none of this is organized I have my eyelashes in there and whatnot and then I have um this right here which is just my Sephora makeup so let me put that down because I don't know about I got I gotta put that back in there and then on the bottom here I have all of my electronic stuff now i don't have it organized because i have my camera right there on its tripod and whatnot and i just keep all of the stuff that i have in my make like in my filming room in here so when i get done filming i put my camera in here just so it's not on the tripod i don't want it to fall and break because that thing was expensive okay okay so hopefully the um light from the blinds isn't like coming in and just washing everything out so i try to brighten that up as much as i possibly could um right here is where i actually sit and film so i sit and film here all the time i this is actually my my dining room chair so um i don't really have a chair that i invested in to sit on and i really do want to get one but i haven't gotten it and i also want to invest in a better table too but this is actually a very good table to get for whenever you're starting off especially in beauty like beauty youtubing or whatever um I got this table from Walmart and I think it was around $30, which isn't bad because it's so small. You can close it and fold it just in case if you do have a smaller beauty room than this. And what I like about it is that it is white. So whenever I do have my lights on or anything, I don't need any lights beside me or uh, behind me or anything because of the fact that this helps bounce off that light and just give you a really bright um, look or whatever because you don't really want it to be super bright on top and then like dark on bottom underneath your chin. And I just realized my sweater is like so wrinkly right now so yeah i have all that stuff right here um i just closed that real quick and then i like brightened up my light just a little bit more and on top i have my laptop so this is a dell laptop that i use i don't use a macbook or anything i don't i really don't even know how i would go about using it just because i feel like macbooks are really expensive but you have to buy all the software that goes with it to use the macbook especially to edit and stuff so maybe later on in the future when i got that type of money i will invest in the macbook and all that stuff but for right now my dell is good okay so i got the dell um laptop from best buy i don't know if what i'm about to tell y'all is like everywhere or if it's just in my best buy like my texas best buys if you get what i mean but um a little fun fact is if you go to best buy if you go to best buy and um a little known fact is if you go to best buy and ask them about progressive leasing they will tell you you have to just kind of like fill out the application and everything and see if you get approved almost as if you were leasing something out or like renting to own type thing and progressive leasing is actually a very good way to help build credit but also get the things that you need right then and there so with progressive leasing you can actually apply and then you can either get approved or denied but if you have good credit you shouldn't have to worry about it because it's it's going to approve you either way make sure you have a job too but my boyfriend actually applied for aggressive leasing a few years ago 
and anytime we want anything from Best Buy, that's actually what we do just because we don't want to have to kind of like throw our, all of our savings into having to get something. So when it came to the laptop, my camera and all the other electronics that we have, like he has a drone, a GoPro and all that type of stuff. We did that through Progressive Leasing. We even did that for our TV and our for our um, oven. So you go up there, you apply. If you get approved, then you can put like $70 down and then you can either do the three month or the 12 month option. We do the three month option of the payment plan because if you do the three month option, you don't have to pay back double that amount. So let's say if my laptop was $800, if I do the three month option, then I'll only pay $800. Like. I'll pay however much it is per month per month to reach $800. And then if you do the 12 month option, then it'll it'll double that amount. So you won't pay 800 by the end of the 12 months. You'll pay 1600 for your laptop if you get me. So we do the 3 month payment plan. It's super easy. We literally just paid like $80 the first day and then we walked out with our laptop and camera and all that stuff and we did these separate times, so not all together. So yeah, I got the Dell lap laptop through Progressive Leasing. Um, it was about $800. This is a very old laptop though. This is not one of the new Dell laptops. Um, I really do want to get one though, because like I said, I don't know about that MacBook. That MacBook, it looks really hard to understand. So yeah, I got the laptop and everything. I used Wondershare Filmora, by the way. It's a super easy program. Only costs like $45 per year, or if you want to do like the Full year I think it's like 70 which isn't bad either way and it's so easy to understand like I swear to you if you're struggling with how to edit it is so easy to understand so that's what I'm doing right now I'm actually editing the vlog already I have one of my SD cards in there and I'm editing the vlog and then up here I have my Canon DSLR. This is the Canon 80D camera and it came with this lens right here. So if y'all think, oh, y'all need like one of those really expensive, high quality lenses, you can go out and buy it if you have the money. But I think that this lens is actually really good, especially with the lighting that I'm about to show y'all, which is this light right here, which was very inexpensive. And so it's so, so good, okay? I got this camera and I believe it was around $1,200, but like I said, with progressive leasing, you can do the payment plan. And then I also got this, um, what is this? What is this? Seriously. Oh my God. I forgot this <laughs> microphone here. Uh, it's a Rode microphone. I think I paid around a hundred dollars for that. And that was an investment for me, honestly, because I was not going to buy it, but my, my video sound is better, but obviously it's not the best um as i would like it but you know you you get what you pay for and for my first microphone i think that i made a good option i'll link this down below also all these all these items here i'll link down below the tripod is a ub size tripod i got this from amazon it was 35 dollars, y'all and tell me why this same exact tripod with the same features and everything at best buy is like a whole 80 dollars. i got this from amazon it is this brand right here and it is so so good very very sturdy it has the option where you can actually turn your camera to the side if you want it to instead of having it like this which i really do appreciate and then it also has the legs where you can adjust and make it taller or shorter and the same thing with this too now for the light this is a very very bright light by the way it lights up my whole background just so perfectly i got this light from amazon this is the young Young Noao Digital YN303 Pro LED <laughs> Pro LED Video Light. Um, you can buy the batteries or you can buy the actual cord uh, separately, but this is separate, you guys. So if y'all are planning on investing in a light like this, I really do think it's a good investment. It, this was around seventy-five dollars on Amazon, but if you buy this light, you only need this light you don't need any other light just this light so i like it because you can adjust it to the you know however high or low you want it to be i always have mine on 22 and then i bought this separately so this does not come with it it does not come with the cord and it does not come with the batteries so if you need that then you better buy it separately 
and it also comes with these two cards it comes with this clear one and also comes with a warmer color one i use the clear one and then it opens up and closes if you need it to and also it does not come with the tripod y'all so if y'all want this light you need to buy the tripod separately luckily i had one of my tripods laying around so i just hooked it up to this and screwed it on and yeah so it doesn't come with the tripod but this light is really really nice it is so bright and i really do like this especially if you're a makeup artist photographer or anything like that i feel like this light can just go with anybody okay so that is my little filming setup and that's about it so that's literally my beauty room it's very inexpensive if y'all want to look at any of the electronics that i have or anything i'll have them all linked down below i know i need to start linking my stuff but i'll have them linked down below because i already saved them on my bitly links so yeah if y'all are looking for very inexpensive stuff or if y'all just need a little bit of inspiration on like beginning youtube or anything like that especially the beauty youtubers then this is like the perfect stuff ever so i'm literally so i am literally about to put my shoes on and go grocery shopping i have to get all my grocery stuff y'all all my grocery stuff and okay so i decided that i'm gonna go to the gym instead first just so then after that i can go straight to the grocery store and my phone is literally about to go dead but anyways yeah, so I decided that I'm going to go to the gym first, and then after that, I'm going to go to the grocery store. I was literally outside trying to um, fix this hole or whatever, because my dog, she's a, she likes to dig holes and all that. And she, I don't know how, but she just escapes every single time. Like, everybody says that huskies are really good at escaping, and it's true. She's really good at escaping. But I'm going to have her outside today in the backyard, just kind of like chilling and stuff, because... She's been in the house for a few days and whatnot, and she honestly, she goes crazy in here. She literally chews up every single thing. She isn't really potty trained, but like she's potty trained, but like when it comes to telling us she needs to go to the potty, she does not do it all the time. You know what I mean? So yeah, so I'm going to have her in the backyard since it's like a really, really nice day today. I had to fix the hole because she was going like underneath the house somehow and um, like escaping and stuff like that and like I don't want her to get ran over or anything. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just literally waiting for my grandma to come um, and pick me up and then we are going, well actually I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to record my little workout session or whatever. I don't have my waist trainer on and I changed my shirt because that sweater was way, way too hot. And I didn't feel like having to like, you know, be super hot and everything in that sweater. So I actually just changed. I have on my, why is my, why is it like so dark in here? I have on just like this shirt that I got. I think I got this from Academy, to be honest. And it's really, really good. It's a good shirt. I've had this for years, but it has these little um, thumb holes or whatever. I don't really know why, like what they're made for, but it has those and i just cut my finger on an accident it hurts i don't have band-aids and then i have on my um women's best leggings i've had these for like a year and tell me why these have literally lasted me longer than my gymshark leggings because my gymshark leggings actually um ripped on the inner thigh if you have thick thighs then you know okay you know <laughs> i just hit my table but anyways, so yeah, um, that's what I have on. I took off my waist trainer because I thought I was going to go to the, to the grocery store first and then go work out. But I took it off for right now just because, um, like, have you ever tried to sit down in the waist trainer and it's like really hard to sit down? I don't like that. So I'm going to wait till I get to the gym to put it back on just so I'm able to um, do my squats and everything like regularly. And it really helps me with my squatting and stuff too. So that's what I'm going to do, and yeah, that's about it. I'm waiting for her to come right now. It's really hot today, really, really hot today. So I'm hoping that my camera is, okay, it charged up a little bit more, so that's good. So yeah, that's what we're about to do. I'm going to wait for her. We're going to go. I'm going to show you my routine and everything that I've been doing because I've been lifting heavier lately. Like I've been lifting way heavier than... um 
I used to, like whenever I would go work out at the gym and stuff, I would lift like maybe 50 pounds, but lately I've been trying to lift like way heavier than I used to. I'm like out of breath because I was just out there doing that, but yeah, I've been trying to lift a little bit heavier just because I want to see my butt actually grow and not be like so maintained because the weight that I used to lift was just like a weight that would maintain and not really like help me build so I really do want to build right now and if I didn't tell y'all before I'm on a 1500 calorie deficit so yeah I'll see you guys at the gym in a little bit I don't want to like make this video way too long with my talking so yeah thinking of me just like i know you should i cannot give you everything you know i wish i could i'm so high at the moment i'm so caught up in it yeah we're just young dumb and broke but we still got love to give while we're young dumb young young dumb and broke young dumb young young dumb and broke young dumb Young, young, dumb, and broke Young, dumb, broke, high school kid Young, dumb, and broke, but we still got love to give while we're young, dumb, young, young, dumb, and broke, young, dumb, young, young, dumb, and broke, young, dumb, young, young, dumb, and broke, young, dumb, broke, high school kids. Young, dumb, broke, high school kids. So, okay, you guys, I just got done with my workout. I'm in the restroom right now. I'm about to just use the restroom, wash my hands. Now I'm going to go to the grocery store. I know I didn't really record much of my workout, and that's just because, like, I didn't want to, like, you know, go on with the workouts or whatever. Um, it's just, like, super simple workouts or whatever. If y'all want to see, like, a what I eat in a day or, like, a fitness routine, then I'll record it for you. But other than that, I won't record it. Um, I just kind of like wanted to throw it out there real quick. That um, a few months ago, when I had these women's best, when I actually first bought these women's best um, leggings, that they were super tight on me to the point where they like made my skin right here kind of like pop out or whatever. And also this shirt too is like way more looser on me nowadays than it used to be it used to be super duper tight i don't have my waist trainer on right now anyways that's just how i look or whatever for right now so i barely just started getting used to eating right and everything so can't wait to like really see the results you know what i mean so yeah i'll see you guys in a little bit i'm about to go get all the food that i need and then go home and cook because I'm hungry and it's way past my eating time right now so
Um, okay, so it is now the next day. I know what y'all are thinking. I'm a bad vlogger, but you know, this is like my second vlog here on my channel. So I'm just going to continue to get, you know, better and better at it. And I really haven't been having a bad time vlogging. Usually like with my first vlog, if y'all have, haven't seen it, like my Christmas vlog from months ago, that was a pretty bad vlog for me. I felt like I literally was just everywhere in that vlog. I didn't want to vlog. I was getting agitated and frustrated and all that stuff. Um, but this vlog is actually, it's been pretty easy. This shirt is just really loose. Um, so yeah, I just showered and everything. It's around 10 in the morning. I've been up since like 7.20. I woke up super late today, to be honest. I usually wake up at like 6.30 to 7. You know? Um, yeah, but yesterday after I went... My dog likes to jump on me. Yesterday, after I went to the grocery store, I literally... No, Maxie. Max, get over here. Ow! She likes to jump on me, y'all. Um, she gets really excited. Anyways, stop, Max. That hurt. Chill out. I literally... I gotta make her another um, vet appointment to get her last two shots, and then she can get groomed, because she needs to get groomed, y'all. Like, her hair is everywhere right now. But, um... So yeah, after the grocery store, I literally just came back home and I put all the groceries back. I was going to film doing that, but I didn't want my vlog to be super repetitive with like the, you know, high speed or whatever, like me speeding things up. Come on, Maxie, you got to go potty? Come on, girl. Ow. Go potty. There you go. So yeah, um, I'm just going to show you all my refrigerator. Yesterday, my refrigerator was not packed up whatsoever. It is super packed up today. I got a lot of cooking today. Last night, kind of ate three hot dogs. I know, I know. But y'all, my boyfriend barbecued last night some hot dogs and hamburgers. And when I tell y'all I love barbecued hot dogs, like I literally love barbecued hot dogs and they came out so, so good, okay? So I had three of those yesterday. <laughs> And um, I actually ate healthy pretty much all day yesterday. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all my refrigerator. So now it's all packed up, y'all, okay? It is all packed up. I have all my stuff. I literally got a whole bunch of new things. Um, I got this cauliflower um, uncured pepperoni pizza and this like deep dish pan pizza from DiGiorno. So I'm really excited to try that out for like whenever I do make um, spaghetti and meatballs, which I think it's gonna be today, but I may eat that some other day, okay? And then here is my refrigerator. I literally stock up on a whole bunch of stuff. So most of the stuff in here is like pretty healthy, which is probably why my little sister never eats anything. And when I mean little sister, I mean like she's 17. So she has her certain things that she likes. But of course, I got my healthy yogurts, my son's stuff, a whole bunch of berries. Like, I literally have so much berries. I eat that with my yogurt. All this, my premier protein, and then, of course, my um, fruits and vegetables on each side. And then here's my door. Like, when I say that we love our, like, condiments, we really do. You know what I mean? And... 
just like a whole bunch of cheese egg whites just i pack up on a whole bunch of extra stuff all the time i never just go and buy one like if i'm about to run, run out of something like if i run out of this ranch then the next time i go i will literally get a brand new ranch but i will still keep this one until it runs out and then here is the top now what excites me the most what excites me the most is whenever i pack up my cabinets when i tell y'all that i really do want to go to like the container store or like purchase some stuff online but i really do want to go to the container store in person and get a whole bunch of containers i really do want to do that i just want like my stuff to be super organized and everything and i also want to buy a little um like island or whatever to go right next to my refrigerator just because this, this is like an older house it doesn't the kitchen is pretty small and um there's like this space right here and I need like more counter space because I don't know if y'all can tell like behind me there is like no counter space. I cut right there but like y'all see my air fryer right there and everything so I need like a little island and I wanna, I really want to, um, I don't know what that was, but I really want to DIY this whole kitchen and like put um, the wrap on the cabinets and stuff but I don't know, I don't know about that just because it's going to take a lot of time, it's going to cost money. And I don't know. But yeah, let me show you all my cabinets because my cabinets make me so freaking happy. Like I'm so, I'm really into organizing my cabinets, but I want them to be like really, really organized, like some Khloe Kardashian type stuff. So for my cabinets, I have all of my waters and drinks right here, literally. Like that just makes me really, really happy. I want to get like some cubbies or whatever, so then I'm able to pull it out and then um just like reach in and get whatever get whatever i need and then here is my son's section this is like our section to be honest i don't really eat um like junk food like that or whatever but if my little sister wants something you know we got honey buns donuts this oreos um ritz bits and then i got the cheese back there literally um so all of this stuff is mainly like my son's snack stuff for whenever he goes to school or when we go somewhere he has his little snacks to take he obviously doesn't really eat them that much he has to really want them but i do stock up on his little juice pouches and gatorades and everything like that just because you always need those handy you never know when you need them i don't really have that much to do today to be honest um i just have to edit i was supposed to have that video up tomorrow my video that um it's supposed to be up on Wednesday, but I think today's Thursday. Like, I don't even know what it is anymore. Um, yeah, so I've been editing that for the longest. I feel like it's been the longest time, but my laptop is just so old that it's just messing up. And I had to export that and do all of that stuff to be able to um, add the rest of it, the rest of the video. So most of the video right now is sped up. So that's mainly what I got so far. So yeah, I got myself done my makeup and all that. Also, for the for this vlog. So I'm going to go ahead and just edit the rest of this vlog. And I will see you guys on my next video. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell down below to get notified every single time I upload. If you are new here, then please subscribe. Okay? Because it's only going to get better from here. Alright? So yeah, I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.